and st AUTH trace so most of you might be aware of it so we have been using the uh, transaction for trace user trace is st01 uh, but in the last few years we have been using this so what exactly is the difference between these two so we will understand today okay uh, first let me show you this transaction st01 how it looks like and then we will go on to the other one so this is the look and feel of the st01 transaction whereas if you look if you see the new transaction st AUTH trace this is the look and feel of the new transaction so it is pretty much same how to apply trace so if you see look into the field different fields here here we have change trace especially like trace on trace off but here we have something like activate trace and deactivate trace evaluate is equivalent to analysis in old t code and then the most important app would be system wide trace so this is actually the difference between the t code from security perspective what exactly is the difference is if i go back to the notepad here so in st01 whenever you apply the trace trace is applied in the local server only whereas in st AUTH trace the trace is applied in all servers now what do you mean by local server or all servers so for that you need to understand suppose if i take any sap system especially production systems any sap system suppose i take my ecc system or your s4 hana whatever it could be the new sap system in production generally it is made up of multiple servers so how many servers are there suppose let us take three servers server one server two server three so how can you find how many servers are there in a particular sap system so that you can find through transaction sm51 so here this is the transaction i can see there is only one application server for me so number of lines if you see two lines if you see three lines that directly indicates the number of application servers as i have only one line here means i have only one application server okay so in this case whether you have one application server but mostly in real time there will be multiple servers in a production system you might find some five or six or three or four lines of servers so let us take an example like three servers i have in sm51 transaction i can i found three servers now when you apply st01 trace what do you mean by local server the trace is applied in local server suppose if i am present in server 2 i logged in when i log in into sap system i have to enter through some server server 1 server 2 server 3 let us imagine i am in server 2 the trace when i apply trace the trace is applied within server 2 only but what is the problem here suppose if user is in server 3 if he is performing the activity in server 3 but i am applying trace in server 2 with the help of st01 it is not so useful or i cannot trace anything so first of all i need to find out where the user is existing in which server that you can find out through al08 transaction so if i go to al08 transaction you can see which server has which user the server name followed by user id is mentioned here so first you have to identify where the user is uh, suppose i take this user grc12 it is in this server i have to log in into this server you can just double click on it when you double click you also enter into that particular server 
so this is the first criteria you have to do whenever you apply in st01 but this has been not removed from or this has rectified from the new transaction point of view so you need not do all these things in st AUTH trace trace is applied in all application servers so from this diagrammatic perspective when i apply trace in st AUTH trace it will be applied in server 1 server 2 server 3 so it is applied everywhere so wherever the user present may, may be it will be recorded okay so this is the difference main difference between the st01 transaction and st aUTH trace